In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a custom ease to a motion path tween so that you can get the car to slow down and speed up as it's going up and down the hills. First, we'll start out with an SVG that has a car and a path. In the JavaScript panel, we'll make sure we're loading GSAP, Motion Path Plugin, and Custom Ease. Register the Motion Path Plugin, then create a tween that moves the car along that path. In this tween, the Motion Path Plugin is being told to use the path with the ID of path. We'll run, and you'll see that the car basically follows the path, but it's only facing directly forwards. We want it to point up and down the hills. Next, we'll add Auto Rotate True. We'll run again, and now you'll see that the car follows the direction of the path a little bit, but things are a little bit wonky. Well, to fix that, we're going to have to just change the transform origin. So before we create that tween, I'm going to do gsap.set and we're going to say car and we'll use transform origin in the center of 50%, 50%. The next time I run, you're going to see that that looks a little bit better. All right, but I want to lift the car up just a little bit so it looks like the wheels are actually on that red path. To do that, I'm just going to add y% percent minus 55. We'll hit run, and now it's going to look like the car is perfectly driving up and down the hill. Awesome. Let me jump back into my HTML. Let's hide the red path by giving it a stroke of none. We'll run again. Very nice. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Ah, beautiful. Now, the next part is going to be how do we get it to have a really cool easing effect where it looks like maybe it's slowing down on the top of the hills and then speeding up when it goes down. I think it's time to add a custom ease. Over in the green sock ease visualizer, I'm going to switch over to a custom ease. Now, what we want to do is make the car start out slow, speed up, and then kind of come to a slow down over that first hump. So I'm going to click on this point here and then do a little option click. And so that's going to give me a little bit of an ease in, okay? And then for that first hill, I'm gonna add a point right about here, pull it up a little bit. And I'm gonna do some very subtle actions here, okay? I'm just gonna have it go like this. That means it's going to speed up and then slow down a little bit. I might do it a little bit more extreme so you're gonna really see that slow down there. So that's we're gonna say that's the top of the first hill. And then it's going to speed up and go to the next little hill. So I'm going to just assume that maybe the second hill is somewhere around here and that's where I'm gonna have it slow down. Uh, when it gets to the bottom of the hill, I'm also gonna have it slow down just a little bit. So I'm just really eyeballing things here, but let's hit the run button and you should see it start fast, slow down, go fast, slow down, and yada, yada, yada. So keep your eye on the ball, all right? so. You sort of see the idea here. I'm going to make it just a little bit more extreme here, just so we can sort of see exactly what's happening uh, better. All right, so that, that's going to make it stop or slow down. Cool. All right, so now I want to use this ease. What do I do? Well, I'm going to go down to the uh, ease visualizer here, the bottom, and I'm just going to double click on all of that code right there. And I'm just going to copy that selection out and let's jump back over to our code pen and somewhere up at the top I'm gonna to do a custom ease dot create we'll name it hill and then we're just going to put in a string of that value that I copied alright so now when I have my tween down here I'm going to say that the ease is going to be H I L L hill and now when I run, let's get this thing a little bit bigger. Let's see what we get. Slows down, slows down, speeds up, and there we go. So hopefully you can see how using the right ease really gives some personality to your animations. Now, if I want to do something a little bit different, you know, I'd have to go back to the ease visualizer, um, and maybe I would say, hey, you know what? I want after this point here, maybe we're gonna do something a little bit funky. Maybe we're going to, uh, have it go back a little bit so maybe the car is sort of struggling to go up the hill something like that all right so let me just do that and then what am i going to do i'm going to select that string there make sure i get the whole thing i'm going to copy it 
go back to my code pen and let me paste that thing in there. And when I run, you're gonna see something kinda cool. You're gonna see that, that the car goes back and then does the same thing at the end. But we have this sort of back and forth motion here. But you'll see I didn't really time it right. I want it to sort of struggle on this part of the curve. So again, I'd have to go back to the Ease Visualizer, make some tweaks and come back and be kind of arduous. What if you actually had an Ease Visualizer to use while you were watching your animation? So right here, I'm just gonna click on this line. We're gonna do one of these jobbies and I'm gonna pull this one down like this. And here, look at that. I can see it struggling and shooting over that hill, just like that. No back and forth. If I wanna struggle on this hill a little bit, maybe we'll put another point in here, pull one down just a little bit. I don't know, let's see if that works. Zoomp. All right, so it will move some stuff around, try to smooth these out a little bit. Maybe make that go like that. What do we get? Nice, all right. So I can add all that expressive easing to my animation without leaving the page. In the next video, I'll walk you through how I built it. Want to play around with the demos used in this video, including the Ease Visualizer? Check out my Creative Coding Club B-Sides, Bonuses, and Oddities mini course. It's an eclectic mix of coding tips and tricks you're not going to find anywhere else. It's exclusive to my Creative Coding Club subscribers. For more information, check out the description below.